Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. As you can see, we're starting off this week's video in an underground MUN base, uh, as you just saw up on the top. Um, also, just wanted to say, just wanted to say real quick that if you haven't watched last week's video, I recommend going and watching that. It might help you make more sense of this week's video, just because this is kind of a series that I've been doing, and, um, so, yeah, now, now, here we have Jeb, he is walking around the, this maze, well, it's kind of a maze, I mean, he is just kind of, like, I mean, he doesn't really know what's happening, or where everything is, but there seems to be a lot of engines and random assortment of stuff on the walls and on the ground, so, it's, a uh, very hazardous, you gotta fly over an engine and then go into the energy room right there well it's more like a hallway but still you know it, it's just the energy room because that's what it would make sense to call it maybe because it, there's 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 uh there's power there lots of batteries probably because it's an underground base and there's really no other way to get solar panel or solar power without going above ground so yeah um but Probably he just didn't find any solar panels, maybe, or didn't build it with any solar panels. I don't know. Uh, anyways, here we have Jeb. He's going up into the, what seems to be, launch control room. So that's what we've concluded. It's the launch control room. We have some computers on the walls and other, like, and other stuff, like, um, other, like, supercomputers and stuff. You know, just whatever you want to. Whatever you think it could be. Jeb, uh, Jeb, again, didn't really know at all because he's, this isn't his base. The Kerbals didn't build this as far as they're concerned. Like, there's no base, underground base on the Mun. But here is an open door to a random assortment of capsules and engines. Well, actually, no, it's just one engine. and But still, it's it's not exactly the best rocket ever, right? Um... Then, you know, got to open up Flight Engineer, so that way you can we can see how everything's going. I really should have been paying attention to uh, the map screen when I was doing this, because I, like, wasted so much fuel trying to do that. <laughs> like, I now I only have 825 meters a second of Delta V left, so yay. Um, that wasn't very good. But, you know, it's Jeb. He can probably make it home. He's used to flying, right? Uh, oh, shoot, we're gonna run out of fuel for this next maneuver. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. This, uh, shoot, no, please don't run out of fuel, please don't run out of fuel, please don't run out of fuel, please don't run out of fuel. It's out of fuel. Okay, um, now we have a totally different problem. Jeb is all out of fuel, and so here we go with this next launch to go save Jeb. That's, that's a big rocket to go save Jeb with, but still, you're gonna need to, like, you know, you gotta account for trial and error. I'm, I'm terrible with actually docking things. And no, I didn't actually use McJeb, surprisingly. I actually thought I was gonna have to, but I ended up not having to. And then, you know, you just saw it re-entering a little bit. And then I created a maneuver to, um, to get, to raise my periapsis around Kerbin. And then I performed that maneuver. And then here we are, coming up closer to Jeb, right here. We got Val in the thing. We got, we, I got Philster out of it, and I got him over to the other one. I brought Val and Phil. I'm gonna just call him Phil, even though it's technically Philster. But I got Val and Phil, and Phil's the engineer, and I was really glad that I brought an engineer. Oh yeah, I had to revert here, that's right. I was really glad that I brought an engineer, because here's the thing. I ended up like, not putting parachutes. I put parachutes on that. Or, no. There was parachutes on... Th I didn't put any parachutes on the uh, rocket to go rescue Jeb. But the rocket Jeb was in actually had parachutes. So I just had to move him over. Which was really hard because I had to get close to it. And I actually didn't put a docking port on this one. I put a grabbing claw. Because the rocket that Jeb had taken... Uh, that only had a... That didn't have any docking ports. So... 
yeah here we are getting closer at first i tried to use like the engine as you saw a little bit ago and now we're using rcs it really was faster and more helpful and i really should have done it from the beginning but i couldn't like slow it down enough and then there we go bump into the rocket to let gem know that we're here um get those and get those those uh parachutes on as fast as possible <laughs> speed run putting parachutes on in ksp that's that's like the best probably just one if if there's actually a speed run for that i probably just want one but probably not so yeah anyways here we go we got jeb he he got grabbed by the grab grabbing claw he went to that and then they just disarmed it and he got out of it and then here he goes he boarded had to rearrange some staging because the parachutes weren't already in the staging and also they named the rocket okay this is a chicken because that's how good i am with names so the rocket that just rescued jeb that's that's called okay this is a chicken and basically what happened is i couldn't i thought okay i'm just gonna have the kerbals pull out their parachutes and just like jump out and then use their parachutes to paraglide down and then uh and then i was like oh that's right in the last video i took jeb's parachute off so that way he could uh grab a grab a little thing to fix his rocket which is actually still on the mine and there's no engineer there yet go watch last week's video if you haven't already um yes it's very interesting i think probably anyways now you know i just i created a maneuver to uh get low or to re-enter just because I wanted to, I guess. I guess I didn't really need to, but I wanted to try to like land on the light side of Kerbin, and then I and then I did this, um, and then I got an internal view of the capsule, and then just kept watching, and I wanted to see what it looked like re-entering, which I think I've already done, but you know I really wanted to do it again. Because why not? And then deployed those parachutes, and then there's not much else to see except blue sky. And then the parachutes deploying fully, which caused a little, which, you know, some G-forces, but that's fine. We got Val, Phil, and Jeb. I'm just calling him Phil, guys. I know it's Philster, but still. Uh, anyways, that's the end of this week's video. There's gonna be more probably next week, so subscribe and if you like the video like the video and subscribe and press the bell because you don't want to miss what comes next week